Hello everyone, this is Dan Sparse, and welcome to Let's Play Stellaris with the 1.1 patch, also known as the Clark patch. Uh, this patch added a few new features, fixed a few little bugs and things like that, so I thought why not give it a try. Um, just a little heads up about our previous Stellaris Let's Play, of which there is maybe, I think, only three videos. Um, that's done. That's done and gone. Um, and I'll give you a quick little um, synopsis about what happened to that um, <laughs> to that game while I make my new empire here. Um, so, while I was playing between recordings getting ready to record the next video for, um, the Spartan Empire, right? Um, I got myself involved in a couple wars that I thought were going to be super easy. You know, I thought it was just going to be bing, bang, boom, take out these tiny little planets whose technology and whatnot is far inferior to my own. However, I did not count on, um... I did not count on the uh, the whole sort of, um, what is it, the sort of rock, paper, scissors kind of aspect of the weapons technology. So when I went to attack these people, um, I my weapons did nothing to them and theirs just tore me apart even though they were technically inferior to me. And that completely ruined everything. That destroyed my military. And then the first planet that I invaded and actually managed to take over uh, rebelled against me. And it was a disaster. So I figured once this new patch came out, I might as well just scrap it. So I'm thinking right now, who do we want to play as? Um, just, just to let you guys know, I'm going to be turning the difficulty, the AI aggressiveness, down to low. Because I don't really... For me, playing this game, combat can be a little much. I'm still trying to figure out the basics of the game, and throwing in combat to that also just sort of drives me a bit uh, loopy. Um, so who do you want to play as? I have no idea. I think I want to play as somebody kind of peaceful looking. Um, <clears throat> these are the guys I chose for the Spartan Empire last time, but I think I'm going to choose somebody different this time um who to pick who to pick uh <clears throat> well i did i noticed these guys when i was walking wandering around walking they're kind of <laughs> they're kind of chill looking let's pick them um name what do we want to call these these little dudes we're going to call them the, um, <clears throat> oh, the sp sparse, the Sparsidians. How about that? Yep, sparse, Sparsidian, I mean. And then the plural is Sparsidians. <clears throat> and the adjective is spar. Sidian, right? Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Biography, uh, we're gonna leave that blank for now. Not really gonna get too involved with the biography of these, for these folks. Um, cluster, swarm, squadron. Let's just call them clusters. Uh, ship prefix, um, hmm. Uh, slime ship. All their ships are going to be called slime ships. Yep. All right, traits. Oh, I don't know. How about these guys are... <clears throat> What's a good one we can give them? Uh, I do like industrious. I can never seem to get... Uh, minerals going. My mineral count always seems to be too low. So I'm going to make them industrious. 
And I think I'm going to make them... Uh, hmm. Let's make them weak. Um... I can fit one more positive thing for them. Um, and then I'm not, I'm not going to max out. <clears throat> uh, rapid breeders, no. Natural engineers. Natural physicists. Natural sociologists. Natural engineers. I'm going to make them natural sociologists because at the beginning of the game... You get a bunch of annoying little things that interrupt your colony ship development, and I want to speed that up as quickly as possible. So, natural sociologists. Name. <clears throat> um, uh, I'm going to name this guy Da and Spurs. Yeah, he's a male. Uh, ruler, title, that's fine. Color variants. Um, oh! Hell yeah! Clothes. Oh. No. Nah. Sure. Homeworld. Um. I don't like any of those. We'll name our homeworld, um. Sparsidia. Why not? The star name will be, uh, <clears throat> you, YouTube, uh, channel, <laughs> and the world they will live on will be a... Uh, how about an ocean world? Yeah. Let's do an ocean world. That seems kind of fun. City appearance. Uh, sure. A molluscoid. How about that? Um, government and ethics. Uh, what do you want these guys to be? Well, <clears throat> I want them to have... I want them to be developing a lot of stuff. So, I think I'm going to make them fanatic materialists. Because I, I really want them to get physics output and all that other stuff. And I think individualists, because that increases energy credits. Um, is there any other that increases, like, anything else? Okay, no. So these two increase... Stuff. So we're going to choose those, and we're going to do a direct democracy. Oh no, but plutocratic oligarchy increases minerals and energy credits too. Um, then we're going to do the plutocratic oligarchy. This one gives us more planets, but this one gives us more energy credits and minerals, which I want very badly. Name, we're going to be called the... Well, let's see what... Sparsidian Cartel. Oh, I kind of like that. Uh, Sparsidian Consortium, Sparsidian Coalition, Galactic Sparsidian Confederation, Sparsidian Confederacy, Commonwealth. Um, oh, fuck. What was the. <clears throat> Same the Sparsidian Cartel. I liked that one. So that's what we're going to be. Flag. All right. So we, because of the patch, we have this these domination flags now, which originally you got from playing a game, like some pre-release nonsense that I didn't do because I, I foolishly forgot. That one's kind of cool. Um, that one kind of looks like the Romulan symbol. Um, what do we want to pick? I want to pick something. I kind of like that one. I'm going to go with this one. Uh, we're going to make it... Well, the main color I think will be blue in the middle. And the secondary color... Will be... Oh, I don't know. Let 
Maybe we can pick a lighter blue. <clears throat> maybe that'll help. Or maybe the center should be gray and the outside should be blue. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. What other options do we have? That one, we have that one, we have that one. Hmm. Two circles, this weird thing. Hmm. Or we can just do solid blue. That's also a possibility. <laughs> we could do a gray flag. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. We're just going to do a gray flag. No, that might be hard to see on the map. Uh, I'm wasting all of my time playing this. Setting us up. Uh, I just want the colors to work. Is that so wrong? How about this? We'll do this and that. Yeah, fine. <laughs> they kind of clash, but whatever. Starting weapons. Oh, I don't know. I guess missiles are fine. FTL method. I like warp travel. I hate hyperspace. Wormhole I've never really used, so I'm not comfortable doing it. And we'll choose the, I think the molluscoid ships. All right. Um, save. And we will play. All right, we're gonna play on a huge map, a spiral galaxy. I love the spiral galaxies. AI empires, that's fine, but we're gonna turn the aggressiveness down to low. Difficulty normally allow any FTL mode. Iron Man, off. Nah, on, we're not gonna use cheats, so. No, we're gonna turn it off, just in case there's some weird issues with saving for the Iron Man. All right, play, finally. How long did I spend doing that? Oh, only about 15 minutes, so not as, not as long as I thought I did. All right. <clears throat> in the eon since the first primitive Sparsidian communities took shape in the archipelagos and lagoons of Sparsidia, our civilization has spread and prospered. As scientific knowledge increased and new outputs were founded across our world, trade flourished and tied the various nation states together until they became a single entity. Power rested with the merchant princes, the true architects of our achievements as a civilization. Now, after the successful creation of several experimental subspace fields, the finest minds of the Sparsidian cartel have finished development of the first warp drives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasps. Begin. So what... Is he a president? Oh, he's an executive. Oh. That's fancy. All right. First things first, we need to start getting technology built. So I think what we're going to do first is, oh, no, this is hard. Which do I want to do? Solar panels or research speed? Uh, let's do research speed. I think I'll be okay with energy for a little while. So, um, colony ships, definitely. And then, oh, let's do the Batharian power plant, I guess. Now, um, do I have any different leaders? Like, no. Okay. So they're all kind of not really. Research speed, new worlds. Well, yeah, they don't. <laughs> My current scientists don't really match up very well with what I want to be done. Anyway. Sparsidia, surface. The surface is... Oh! Not that bad. We got some minerals, but no... Alright. We're, we've, we've sort of tapped out all of our minerals as it is, so... Alright. Um... <clears throat> Alrighty. What do I want to do? I think first things first, we should get our science ship. Nope. Here. 
Survey the system, please. Go ahead and unpause. I think we'll stay on normal speed for a little while. <clears throat> now, where are we in the galaxy? All right, so we're we're close to the edge, but not in the edge. We're just like one arm in. Okay. Can we see any planets nearby? Okay, we have a few in our we have a few in our territories. Actually, all of these are in our territory, which is nice. We are on the edge of our of our arm, so unless this star connects with YouTube channel. I don't think we have an issue about a hyperspace lane. That's a bit far. I think this is more likely a hyperspace lane here. Or these ones. I don't think hyperspace lanes cross dark space. I think they cross clouds like these. I could be wrong though. Alright. So I think what I want to do is I want to start developing our mining stations. How are we with food? We're pretty okay with food right now. So I think that's what we'll do here also is we'll start... We are suppressing... Actually, no. We're going to cancel that. Sorry. We're going to build food on this one. I wasn't paying attention. I mean, we're going to mine on this one. And then we're going to build food on this one. I was not paying attention. I think I probably wasted some of my some of my stuff doing that. Oh well. It is what it is. I really hope my home system has some good stuff in it. Oh, my star doesn't even have anything in it? Well, that's great. That's always good. <laughs> Come on. Oh my goodness. Hopefully these guys will have some stuff, I'm hoping. Uh, I think I will... I think I'll be good with food for a little while. I want to save this two energy spot for an energy hub once I research it. Good. Finished construction. That's exactly what I want. Now maybe I should build another science ship if I can. 75. Wow. These guys have like nothing. Just one mineral deposit of two. All right. Um, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and we'll build another science ship. I'm not happy. <laughs> I am not happy. I, these worlds better have like energy resources because I need energy. Minerals is nice too, but energy is like what I really, really want. That one has nothing. Great. 
Construction complete. Cool. Okay. So we have a science ship here. We need a leader for it. I think I'm going to... Who is currently researching? Um, I guess I'll research... Alright, I'll... No, I'll take the younger... Okay, this is what I'll do. I'm going to pause very quickly to do this so I don't screw myself up. Okay, so this one's going to be replaced with the New Worlds person. And then this science ship will get this person. Right? Or, let's see. Research speed, research speed. Alright, yeah, that's good enough. That works. And then we'll send you to Mirok. Unpause. <clears throat> yeah. Leader has gained a level. Cool. Oh my god, I'm not finding anything. Oh. You gotta be kidding. Is my system completely empty except for this one mineral deposit? System survey complete. Oh, fuck off, it is. Shit. Alright. Go to Chiselian then. Okay, that's not good. So, um, okay. Well, let's, let's clear this spot then. Because we need to build a power plant there. And I'm really regretting not building those solar panel things when I had the chance. Can I change the research? Yeah, we're going to switch to solar panels because I think that is a little bit more important right now. Or, no. We'll switch back to the administrative AI. No. Oh, solar panels. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh. Gaining one energy credit a month. Or 1.64, though. Well, so that's not that bad. But still, that's pretty bad. And these worlds seem to have nothing so far either. Great. Because if I get the chance, I want to send my construction ship. Like right away to build system survey complete. Anomaly found. Uh, let's see. A class twelve asteroid orbits this planet. The small planet toward its orbit appears far too stable for its presence to be natural occurrence. Leave it be for now. We'll investigate it. Um Oh, is that in Morocco? Oh. Okay, well, you might as well investigate it now then. This one has another ocean world. That's good. That'll probably be our first colony. Have we scanned it yet? No, we have not. Oh boy. Yeah. Ah, we failed. No distinction features are found in the small asteroid that had seemingly been towed into orbit. Well, well, that's a shame. Go, go, go to Dodonum. Dodonum. Dodonum, Dodonam, Dodonam. What? <laughs> I don't like that name. It's too hard to read. Uh, 
Oh, another ocean world. Nice. The slime ship Shodan has made a startling find on Chaselian 3. The planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in history, we have encountered life forms that did not originate on Sparsidia. This amazing discovery has silenced those who believed we were alone in the universe. Although none of the alien creatures found on Chaselian 3 are sentient, it is likely only a matter of time before we encounter beings that are. We may not be alone out here. Interesting. But there's nobody living on it, right? Complete. It's just... Yeah. Okay. That's. A, I had to make sure that there's nobody. Alright, we're going to move you there, because I'm going to build a energy facility there once you live there. I could probably build it now. Power plant. Boom. <clears throat> Contact report. Planetary Animalia. The Sparsidian Cartel is abuzz with news of the alien life found by the slime ship Shodan. While hardly intelligent by Sparsidian standards, the fascinating beings defy easy classification and hint at the immense complexities and possibilities of the universe. Interesting. I just hope that when we encounter aliens, they're going to be friendly, open to trade. Because I need energy, and so I, I need, I think I need a generous benefactor to give me energy. Aliens, uh oh. Anomaly found. Okay. Um and pressures after the surface practically beg Alright. Research it. Situation encounter in YouTube channel. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the YouTube channel system. These strange objects have been flagged as alpha aliens. Until we can learn more about them, we should proceed with caution. Contact report enigmatic spacefarers. News of alien ships humming through the uh, humming through the ether have reached Sparsidia in many ways, ending the first chapter in the book of the Sparsidian Cartel's build for a stellar empire. All right, well, let's go ahead and research those. Which ones are these? Oh, it's the space whales. Hello. Leader has gained a level. Good. So I think I'm going to take this science ship up on like a... Up to these stars. In a sweeping pattern so I can at least see everything in my territory. Etic monolithic. Chaselian 5 is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall cenotaphs carved from some mineral not native to the planet, evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. The monolith's flowing lines deftly chart a history so fantastical it must surely be fictional. Surely. Image them for the archives. They are beautiful. And where's them for the archives? System survey complete. Oh. Anomaly found. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization in the vicinity of this gas scientist. Research. Wait, what? What did I say? Of this gas giant, not gas scientist. Oh my god. Alright. How's this going? Alright, so we're doing okay. Oh. And there is my timer, so I'm going to pause. 
Until next time, folks, this has been Dan Sparse. Like, comment, subscribe, leave me any questions. If you want to know anything, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Steam. Links are down below, as is a link to my Patreon page if you want to help support me in making more videos and better videos in the future. So yeah, until next time, bye.